Hey guys, Russ Mero here and today we are going to be opening the newest sets in the Japanese Pokemon TCG Super Electric Break And of course as the name and package art suggests, the main chase card this time is Stellar Terrestrial Pikachu EX Following behind in second place we have Hydreigon EX, especially their SAR versions Other notable pulls include the SAR Milotic EX and Jasmine's Gaze So here's hoping we pull at least one of those essays Okay, pack number one. The selection of Pokemon this time seems a bit random. I'm just gonna be mainly aiming for Pikachu. Where will our first pack lead? Let's take a look. So we are starting off with Vigoroth. Very nice because a Slaking EX is another one of the EXs being featured this set. Scatterbug. I'm usually a fan of the generational bugs, but this Vivillon line doesn't really interest me. Next we have Dawn Fan. And we are starting off with an art rare, a Lowland Duck Trio with that beautiful hair. I must say though, this is actually a really, really nice looking card. The art style just goes so well with like a Lowland Duck Trio slightly funky design. So let's see what's behind that. It's just gonna be Petulant. Second pack. There we go, one of the trio from Diamond Pearl and Platinum that is Mesprit. Uh, what is your name again? Capsicate, if I remember correctly, it's Evolution Scovillain is another EX featured in this set. That's Blitzel. And our very first EX hopping out of the second pack is one that I am really, really excited to see. If I'm not wrong, I think this should be Stellar Terrestrial Palosan, one of my favorite New Pokemon from the Sun and Moon generation. Like just the whole concept of a spirit inhabiting a sand castle and Sandy Guest is just the little most adorable thing ever. And when it evolved, when mine evolved into Palo Sand, I'm like, this is peak creature design. Thank you so much for this beautiful pull. Let's hope it can attract another stellar. And that's a trainer card, Jasmine's Gaze. Ooh, it's second move Bright Jail for one water psychic and fighting energy. Puts damage counters on all of your opponent's bench Pokemon until they all have exactly 100 HP remaining. That sounds like it combo well with... Flygon. Also, I just find it very amusing that from our first two packs, we've just pulled two foils with very similar body structure. Pack 3. I'd say we are off to a very nice start, so things may be quiet for a while. Bufalons, uh, the Dung Beetle, I'm sorry, I cannot remember his name. Relore, I quite like the variety of new bugs we got in Scarlet and Violet. Glimora. That's the Future Delibird Iron Bundle, and we're ending off with the Ancient Misdreavus Fluttering Mane. Pack 4. Ooh, the second of the trio, Ezel. Well, let's hope we get Uxie as well. Slakoff looking uh, pretty cute over there. That's Spupa. Uh, Gravity Mountain, what does this do? It's a stadium that causes all stage 2 Pokemon currently in play to have their maximum HP reduced by 30. Giving off a bit of Burden of the Mighty vibes, and we're ending off with an Ancient Coridon. Pack number 5. Magnemite, loving that simple, nice art. Bronzor, Heliop, Tile, colorless because he is an electric normal type, I assume. Vivillon, and ending off with another, this looks like a damage reducing berry. Yup, it's the Babiri berry that reduces damage from steel type attacks. Pack 6. Togepi, very cute. Psychic because fairy is now psychic in the card game. Dino, I was never too sure how to pronounce his name. Dino, Dano. Sveal, adorable! And wait, I think I know that art style that's probably from that uh, artist who in recently in the Scarlet Violet era, I think has been like drawing Pokemon artworks that can be linked together. I'll just quickly show an example over here so you guys can- Yo! And there is our second EX smashing right into this opening, Slacking! Now, uh, this is definitely not a good pull by any means and I've never been a fan of Slacking's design. He never looked like a really cool or particular particularly likeable Pokemon to me, but that EX art style, man, really makes me feel it. And ooh, Tender Mouse behind. So Slacking was of course born to Slack, so if your opponent has no Pokemon EX or V in play, 
he just doesn't want to fight. And I guess his power is pretty well expressed. I mean, 340 is pretty hefty for his HP, and for just two colorless energy, his great swing will inflict 280 damage even if you have to trash one energy attached to it. Number 7, Lucky 7. Let's see, there we go, Heliolisk. Hopefully I got the order right. Primeape! Looking pretty badass. That is some really nice artwork that should be on an art rare, I feel. Oh, uh, what's your name again? Shellosk? Shellosk, sorry. Featuring both the EC and WC version, if I remember correctly. That's a hollow that is... Is it what? Rebeska? Rebeska, sorry, which I just realized is just like the inversion of the syllables in Scarab. Okay, controlling his dung with his psychic. Oh, and we're ending off with the water type Pelion Tauros. One of my favorite new Pokemon in Scarlet Violet. I am so hyped to see this. Literally, I went so crazy when I was in the middle of playing the game and suddenly someone throws out their Pelion. Uh, Tauros against me and I'm like just expecting the regular usual fighting type dude and it's like glowing horns and it's elemental Yeah, Game Freak, we need more of that. Tech 8 Sorry, I just remembered this is Tender Mouse, the evolution with the kids that's mouse hole. Yes, that makes a bit more sense. Rotom, hi. Uh, Scatterbug again. Grafai, hopefully I got his name right, and we're ending off with Annihilate, looking absolutely ready to annihilate something. Pack 9. Okay, what? Scentiscorch, the evolution of Sizzlypede, was using this guy, because I love bug Pokemon uh, in Sword and Shield, until I realized there were even more cool bugs to find. Zangoose, Mesprits, that it should be Chen. Pao, if I am not wrong. Yes, Chen Pao. Followed by a TM for Fluorite? Flow Light? Fluorite, which allows your Pokemon to use the Fluorite attack for one Grass, Water, and Psychic Energy by discarding all of the energy attached to this Pokemon. Heal to full health all of your Terrestrial Pokemon. Coming in, pack 10. We've got Executes. Well, nice to see these guys back from Paradise Dragona Fue Coco. Very cute, but uh. Hmm, something about the art bugs me. Bronzong. Now, that is a really nice looking Bronzong in the background. And here we have Future Muridon and ending off with Meowstic, if I remember correctly. Heck 11. Let's see, Vigoroth again, Mankey. Zuelus. That's a Holo Toge Kiss, followed by the Alolan Duck Trio once again. That beautiful hair. It's the way I find the addition of hair to Alolan Duck Trio so amusing, but when they did that to my Ampharos for its mega evolution, I'm like, no, please, ma make it more mega. Uh, Oranguru, I always get confused with his Japanese name, which uses the other part, the, the back of Orangutan, the Utan part, uh, Alolan Diglett, Celio. Kilowattrel and the regular uh, Peldean Tauros. Don't care about you. Pack 13, just kidding, I do care a lot. I was using him even though he's single stage on my team up till the end until I realized there were the fire and water Tauros. Yay, Sandy Guest! So cute! Oh, that is a uh, Wo Qian, if I remember correctly, my favorite of the four. Very cool looking guy. And there it is, our fire elements, Paldian Tauros, looking absolutely sick. Okay, like seriously, Pokemon Company, I need this guy as an EX, the water one is an EX, and like some deck where you can like combo them together. I don't even mind if it's not meta, just give me both as EX. Pack 14. Okay, Glimora, Helioptile, Sveal. Iron Bundle, a Victini, and our last pack of the first pile, the 15 pack. What will we get? Primeape, Dino, Wattrel, Clement in a trainer card, and we're ending off with Serulich. I gotta be honest, like objectively, I can see and know that his design is really cool, but Somehow, I've never really bought into the Serulage market that much. I don't know, maybe it's because they don't feel very Pokemon to me. In fact, I'm not even that big of a fan of Armor Rouge, but I really like Charcadet. Okay, second stack, we have plenty more treasures to find, starting with pack 16. Volcarona. A Hollow Cofagricus. 
Serulich again, I guess he hates me now. Trying to cut me down after I made that comment about not liking him perhaps? Anyway, here's pack 17. Togetic, so nice! That's a great artwork. And next... Oranguru again, kept a kit. Tapu Koko as a holo, looking really badass, love the tapus. And again, my favorite Paldian Tauros. Pack 18. Mesprit, oh we still haven't got Booksy, have we? Dawn Fan, and our second art rare of all things! I, I wanna say why? I wanna say why? But the more I look at this card, it's... It's really so good! Does the dirt have to be so unreasonably realistic in a good way? Well, anyway, here we got Stunfisk. Right, I'm getting a bit confused. Uh, let me try to recall Stunfisk. Should be from Gen 5, Black and White. And then we got Galarian Stunfisk, the, the cave trap in Sword and Shield, if I'm not wrong. But dude, I think this is the best Stunfisk has ever looked. All of you Stunfisk fans out there, you need to get your hands on this AR, and I'm pretty sure it's not going to be very expensive. Wow. Victini. Okay, 19. Sandy Guest, hi. Zep Striker, Sizzlipede. And there is our Ace Pack looking so gorgeous, so badass again. Sorry, it's Ross Mero Ace Pack admiration time. Dude, this is never going to get old. I can't wait to fill a page in my board, in my binder with like 9 of these. Anyway, this is the Amulet of Hope. What exactly does it do? So when the Pokemon this card is attached to is knocked out by the damage from the opponent's move, you can search your deck for any 3 cards that you like and add them to your hand. So very fitting for an item called the Amulet of Hope. It's really gonna allow you to keep holding on to that hope of staging a comeback after your key Pokemon is knocked out. And behind, we have a deduction kit. I'm not sure if this is an item from the games, I don't really remember. So it allows you to look at the top three cards of the deck, arrange them in any order and put them back. Or if you don't like any of what you saw, you can shuffle them and put them on the bottom of your deck instead. This should be 20. There's still quite a bit to go. We don't have our SR above yet. Yamask, Phoebus. That's another AR I really hope to pull. It looks really nice. Fue Coco, Petrance, and Mousehole. 21. Ah, finally! I think that's our first pull of Uxi. Very nice. Honestly, the art is not bad. They look nice together. Zangus and a Hollow Terrapagus, followed by Wo Qian. 22. Dedene. Still trying to get a good one in Pokemon Sleep. Sfeel. Watrol. Meowstic. And Magnezol. Looking pretty nice. 23. Uh, the thing that evolves into Grafiai, Shrudel. There's no way I'd be guessing that from the Japanese name, which is red. Shiru Shiru. Wonder what that means. Shellos, Togepi, Annihilate. Still nothing. Uh, that looks like a cat toy. Chill teaser toy. This card can only be used on the first turn of the player going second. Choose one energy attached to your opponent's Pokemon and return it to the hand. So. Whoa! 24. They are really keeping us waiting on those final foils. Char Cadet, but uh, that's uh, not the best looking artwork. Rotom, Bofalans, Alolan Duck Trio, and again, this seems to be another damage reducing berry, this time for the Dark type. The Colber Berry. 25. I think it's about time we get something. Let's see. Dino, Togetic, Larvesta. And we did get something, but it is only our third EX. It's gonna be Tatsugiri, that little piece of sushi. Ending off with, uh, oh, in, in DD, right? And in DD behind. So Tatsugiri's second move, Cinnabar Lior, is pretty interesting for one fire, water, and dark. Look at the top 10 cards of your deck. And you may put any number of Pokemon from among them onto your bench. Now that doesn't specify the type of Pokemon they are, so I'm wondering if this is assuming that you can put Stage 1, Stage 2 Pokemon directly on your bench of this, and that could lead to some pretty fun decks. Pack 26, any pack now, and we will see our high rarity card. Crocolore, Clemence, Magneton, dude, that Magneton looks great! The, this time it's the Magneton line this set that just looks super awesome, even though they are not foil. But they are keeping us waiting again. 
Tech 27. Uh, I'm getting a bit nervous. What exactly are we gonna get at the end of all of this waiting? Kecleon, Fan P, Volcarona, and next our fourth EX! Followed by uh, Professor Serrano is going to be the fire type. Scovillain EX. Now this is different. Well, in the Japanese version, we initially got a grass type Scovillain EX as a gym promo. That's the one I currently have. So this is our first main set one. And it's pretty cool that the first was grass, this one they made fire. Oh wait, it has the double type ability where while it's in play, it is both grass and fire. That's so sick. I love that. And it's move, spicy rage for 2 fire energy 10+. This move does 70 more damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. Really awesome damage potential and I can't help but feel like it's super fitting for chili for some reason. Like spicy food. But dude, they are literally saving the best for last. They gave us our 4 normal EXs first and we are still kept in the dark. Let's keep on going. Pack 28, and alright, this means I didn't get the basic uh, Pikachu EX, so I have no choice but to get it as an SAR. <laughs> alright, let's go. Mankey, Stunfisk. Yo, wait! If I am not wrong. Yes, it is just an art rare. So we just got a soup. Oh, and there's Armourouge behind, so fitting. We just got our third art rare which is for Serulich and even though just now I mentioned that I didn't like him that much, I gotta say this is such an absolutely badass looking card. Any Serulich fans definitely gotta get their hands on this. But once again, we have been cheated because we still do not have our high rarity card. This belongs down here and there are only two packs left. I am going to make a bet now that it's waiting in the last pack, this pack isn't gonna have anything. But just in case, being very careful here, pack number 29, please, ultra or special art rare, executes, Zeb Striker. I did not open a whole last box of Super Electric Breaker. Kept waiting until the second last pack just to pull a Durant. A Durant. A steel metallic ant. The worst part of all of this is well, I'm sure. Well, if you've seen my previous video on Paradise Dragona, you already know that I'm not a very big fan of these basic SRs. Well, I'm pretty sure a lot of people aren't fans of these guys. They're just like, they don't look better, they're just a bit rarer. The worst part is that I've seen the Durant EX and even though it's not a good pool or available card at all, it looks great. It's so awesome with like those steel metallic jaws going like CRUNCH! And now, I have to deal with this guy. Executor. Okay, and here we go, our final pack of Super Electric Breaker, although I feel like my heart has already been Super Electric Broken. Well, let's open it on camera and see what is the final card that we get. Okay, pack number 30, the final pack of this box. Let's see what we get. Zuelus, Glimmet, Scorch, Walrein, an Excite Stadium! Definitely not in the mood to get excited right now. Okay, so these are our pulls, and I have to be honest, I have to admit it was a pretty fun ride. They led us on pretty well all the way to the 29th pack, and then the climax was a bit, well, you couldn't really call it a climax at all. And I'm also realizing that this means that I didn't pull any of the top two basic EXs, Pikachu or Hydreigon, so that's a bit unfortunate, but hey! At least it was a fun box to open. Okay, so that'll be all for this booster box opening of Super Electric Breaker. As usual, if you enjoyed this video, do give it a like. Let me know what you guys think about these cards in the comment section down below. And don't forget to subscribe for more booster box openings and TCG-related content. And with that, I hope to see you guys in the next video.